So on this lovely Tuesday afternoon here in Atlanta, evening in Johannesburg, South Africa, I have to ask you this question. When last did you make a new friend? As an adult, when last did you connect with someone, have a real conversation, go beyond the real conversation to some kind of collaboration or friendship? Because it's so difficult as adults. We're so guarded and we're so wary and we have so many barriers and boundaries. And it's always interesting when you watch children because they'll just connect and the next minute they'll be holding hands and going off to play. We don't do that. And particularly we don't do that in our virtual worlds. And I had a lovely experience yesterday. So thought for the week, and I wanted to share this with you, is I went down to the Sandy Springs Chamber of Commerce because I'm going to be the keynote speaker. And we agreed with Lola Okunolo that I would come and make a video for them. So I go down and we chat and it's very close to where I live and I haven't seen her for a while. So that was lovely to do to reconnect in person, not via a phone call, not on a virtual platform, but actually have an in-person conversation. And while we were there, one of the groups that I've spoken to in the last while is a huge organization called Veritive. And I didn't even know that Veritive's offices were there. So just by driving there, I said, oh, Lola, do you know anybody at Veritive? Actually, I do. I know Kat Anderson. So let me call her. So, of course, people stay in their bubbles. It takes a lot of effort and energy to walk down the stairs. And suddenly there was Kat Anderson all the way from Veritiv, And we had a wonderful conversation. And it sparked what I wanted to share with everyone today and reminder to myself as well as you is that it is so easy to stand or sit behind our computers. It's so easy to not drive and have that in-person connection. And I'm just reminding myself as much as you is that there is no substitute for seeing someone in person. There is no substitute for me driving down to the Standy Springs Chamber of Commerce. And by the way, I will be speaking there on the 28th of June. So please, Sandy Springs Chamber of Commerce, it's going to be a wonderful event. And what I like about speaking at these kind of events is I'll be speaking, but the byproduct of people who go there will be they will meet each other. So the concept of interacting and networking will not only be theoretical, but it'll be practical, which is what I'm so delighted about. But it really sparked my thinking yesterday around we, since March of 2020, got very comfortable behind webcams. I mean, I spent the whole of 2020, 2021, and a lot of 22 just helping people get comfortable in front of a webcam. And that's an important skill because I really believe that our virtual worlds, in part, are here to stay. But it's just that reminder to each and every one of us that it does take more effort. I mean, I am so happy to wear my shorts or my gym wear and my sneakers and then put on a jacket on top and not have to actually go out and wear heels. But it's worth it. And that's really the point of what I wanted to share today is that it is worth it to make the effort because my driving down there meant I reconnected with an old friend and we chatted around a plethora of things and had some connections and some conversations that wouldn't have happened virtually. And then we got to meet this other lovely person and again, in person. And you can't really quantify what those kind of connections, if sustained, what the results will be. And that's always my point in my book on networking, in my seminars around networking, in real relationship building, in this world where we really value intelligence that is artificial, are we being real? So as you embark on your week, just think about the quality of your connections. Are there opportunities where 
instead of just a phone call, you could at least be on camera and look at somebody or even better, try and meet with them. And that's certainly something that I'm committed to doing is trying to meet more people in person. And it was so fabulous because we had CNN had a reunion last week and it was over 500 former colleagues, current colleagues. And what was so incredible about this reunion is people got to see each other face to face. You got to see and smile and connect. And the energy of this interaction was so tangible. And it also reminded me that you have a connection with somebody at some point in your career and you have a positive interaction. And yes, you may not necessarily stay in touch with them, but that warm feeling is still there. And I've committed to following up with some of those people because if we think that real networking is going from a connection to a meaningful conversation and then hopefully a collaboration, whatever that looks like, are we being intentional enough? So wanted to share that. Shout out to my friend Lola and to my new friend Kat and to all of you who are working hard to connect and making a big effort to stay in touch. But are we making the effort to meet people in person where they can? So I'm Nadia Belchick. My website is nadiaspeaks.com. And June 28th, I'm speaking at the Sandy Springs Chamber of Commerce. And I'm delighted and excited to have an open forum because so often I speak for companies where I can't invite people to join. I'm also doing an information presentation power hour on the 29th. So that's for anybody who wants to learn to present with more flair virtually or hybrid or in person. And that is on my website, nadiaspeaks.com. Wishing you a wonderful rest of the week.